Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here to teach you a fun game today. Let's learn how to create a catch game in Scratch. I am Subita from Nerd is Nerd and let's get started. So today let's learn how to create this game. A game where an object is falling from the top and a character catching it to score points. I have named this game as Catch the Bananas. Let me play and show it to you now. When I'm clicking on flag, an object is falling from the top and I'm able to move the character by pressing the right and the left arrow keys. The score is increasing and if I'm missing the object, the score is switching back to zero and it also displays the high score. Now to create this game, go to scratch click on create and you will get this page. Let's delete the default sprite now and let's pick a character and object. For that go to choose a sprite and let's pick monkey as the character and bananas as the object. Let's also pick a backdrop. Choose a backdrop I'm going to choose jungle. You can choose whatever you wish. Let's start writing the code. Firstly, let's write the code for monkey. Now, I want the monkey to move to both the sides whenever I'm pressing the right and the left arrow key. For that, go to motion, drag and drop, change X by 10 block. When I'm pressing on this, the monkey is moving to the right side. Now let's give a condition, use the if then block here. Let's say if I am pressing the right arrow key, go to sensing, drag and drop this one and change this to the right arrow. When I'm pressing the right arrow, I want the monkey to move to the right side. Keep this inside forever loop so that it keeps checking every time if I'm pressing the right key. Add when flag clicked and let's see what happens. Yes, I'm able to move the monkey to the right side now. Now, let's make the monkey to move to the left. For that, go to motion, drag and drop the same block. And change this to a negative number. Let's say minus 10. And give the condition again. Use the if then block. And go to sensing, drag the key press block, change this to the left. Let's say if I'm pressing the left arrow, I want the monkey to move to the left side. Now keep this inside forever loop and let's see. Yes, I'm able to move the monkey to the left and right when I'm pressing the right and left arrow key. Now let's switch to the object. For that, click on bananas here. So here, when the game starts, I want the bananas to go to random position. For that, go to motion again, drag and drop this block. When I'm clicking on this, the bananas are going to random position on the screen. Now let's set the banana to a position so that it can start falling from there. For that, drag set Y to block. Now in Spry, in Scratch, Y always represents how far the sprite is from the bottom to the top of the screen. So let's set Y to 180. Change this to 180 and add when flag clicked and let's see what happens. Yes, the bananas are always on the top and it is going to random position. Now let's make the bananas fall down. For that, go to motion again, drag and drop, change Y by 10 block. When I'm clicking on this, the object is going up. To make the object fall down, change this to a negative number. And keep this inside forever loop. You can see the bananas are falling down until it hits the bottom. Now, once it hits the bottom, I want the bananas to go back and start over again. For that, let's give a condition here. Let's say if the Y position of the banana reaches around 170, 
let's say somewhere around here it has to go back to the random position and start over for this use the if then block and go to operators drag and drop the less than block now go to motion drag and drop the y position block and let's say if the y position is less than the negative value 170 mm -hmm. negative value 170 then it has to go back to the random position right for that we've already wrote the code so let's just copy the same drag and drop go to random position and set y block and change this to 180 now keep this inside forever loop and add when flag clicked now let's see yes once it is hitting the negative value of 170 the banana is again going back to the random position and start falling again now let's make the character catch the bananas that means the player caught it so for that let's give a condition let's say if the banana is touching the monkey then the player caught it so go to if then block and go to sensing drag and drop touch mouse pointer block and change this to monkey so if the bananas are touching the monkey then it has to go back to the random position for that we have the code so let's just copy go to random position and set y to 180 drop it here and change this to 180 keep this inside forever loop and add when flag clicked now let's see yes whenever i'm touching the banana the monkey touching the banana it is again going back to the random position and start falling now let's make this more interesting let's add sound go to sound drag and drop play sound bite block and let's see yes interesting right now let's add score and high score to make the game more interesting so that you get point for every banana you catch Go to variables and make a variable and name this as score. Now drag and drop change my variable block and change this to score. Add this here and let's see. Yes, the score is increasing by one every time the monkey is touching the button. Now let's add high score. For that, go to variables and click on make a variable and write high score here. Now here, to display the high score on the screen, we'll have to give a condition. Let's say if the score is greater than high score, that it has to display the highest score on the screen. For that, let's use the if then block and drag and drop the operator greater than block go to variables drag and drop score and high score now if the score is greater than high score it has to set the score to it has to set the high score on the screen so drag set high score to change this to score use forever block so that it keeps checking every time and add a when flag clicked now let's try yes the score and high score is increasing every time the monkey is touching the bananas now if you can see the score is not switching back to zero when the monkey is missing the object for that let's give a condition again use the if then block and say if the y position is reaching to a negative value of a 160 then it has to set the score to zero so go to operator again drag the less than block and y position block from motion and change this to one negative value 160 
now if it hits the negative value 160 it has to change the score to 0 so drag this block and change high score to score and add a forever loop and let's see what happens when flag clicked and if I'm missing the object yes the score is switching back to 0 now let's hide the banana for that go to look and drag and drop hide block here now we have used height so let's use show so that it displays the banana when the game starts now let's play the game the score is increasing I will miss the object and see yeah the score is switching back to zero and the banana is also not on the screen now this is how you make a make this game let's uh, rename this as catch the bananas and you can share this with your friends so that's it for today's video post the link of your project in the comment section and i'll be back with more exciting content soon the text version of this game making is also available. The link is in the description below. Do check it out and thank you for watching.